Welcome back to the broadcast. Okay, you're going to love this segment because more than half of Americans either own or work for a small business, which in turn helps create about two out of every three jobs in the U.S. every year, new jobs. Um, this week is National Small Business Week, so we want to get some tips on how business owners can continue to make their mark when it comes to America's global competitiveness. And Marcus Limonis, host of CNBC's The Profit, has uh, these tips for us. Hello, Marcus. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. Um, you know, I was telling you before we uh, went live here that I actually own my own small business, um, a skincare company, and it's it's kind of me on my own doing it. And you said, why are you doing it alone? What's wrong with doing it alone? Why do we need partners? Well, look, I'm a big believer that two heads are always better than one. And even in the businesses that I own, I have a multitude of partners, including a staff that I want to have a vested interest in what's happening. You know, oftentimes people don't want to have partners because they think it means they're going to give up equity or they're going to give up control. But at the end of the day, it's good to have a little natural tension. It's good to have extra working capital so that if the business needs more money, it's not only yours, and it's also good to have a different perspective. How do we find the right people to partner with, the right people to bring into our business? You know, I, I subscribe to this theory in any business that I'm involved in, in people, process, and product. And people, for me, are by far the most important thing. You want to have the right people uh, with the right expertise. And, and I always like to have people that are smarter than me. So in the case of your business, if you're in the skincare business, I would want to bring somebody on where I can share the equity with them, share the risk with them, but somebody that was able to dedicate 100% of their time with a knowledge in the skincare industry that may be better than mine. Right. Um, that's great advice. I'm actually now, now my wheels are turning. Um, so for all the people who are at home, uh, we, you know, a lot of stay at home moms who um, think about starting their own business. And I think it's interesting that so many new small businesses now are started by exactly those people. Well, you know, it's funny. I, I always tell people that I think women make phenomenal business people for one simple reason. They're great listeners, and in order to be successful in business, you have to listen, including to constructive criticism. But starting a business isn't just like rubbing two sticks together. You have to have an idea, and that's one thing. You have to have a plan, that's another thing. But most importantly, you have to have the cash to do it. And it isn't just about starting and buying some inventory. Most people don't realize it takes a while to make money in business, so you have to have the cash to be able to survive. Yeah, and you talk about knowing your numbers, like really understanding what your numbers are. I assume you mean know what your profit margin is, know, know what you uh, expect to, to, to bring in at least that first year. It's even a little bit more than that, right? So when I tell people to know their numbers, I want them to understand Yes, I want them to understand revenue and cash flow and profit, but I also want them to understand where their cash is and how their expenses are being managed. So often I watch businesses go out of business because they don't manage their expenses. And there's a lot of tools and resources that you can bring into your business that will give you the ability to do that. So one partner, somebody that I've teamed up with, is Inc. from Chase. I have it in over a hundred of my businesses where I put in this tool, the Ink from Chase card, and it allows me to manage the expenses and see who's spending what, what they're doing, what they're spending it on, and why. Because I want to know at the end of the month how much did we make and why didn't we Oh, really? What? We're going to lose that satellite connection right now? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do we have him back? Oh, darn it. Okay, well, you know, Marcus had some great ideas, and he talked about that Inc. from Chase um, application and program, and for sure, if you are owning a small business, running a small business, you're going to want to check that out, and then you can check him out on CNBC, too, because he's got lots of great business ideas. When we come back, we are talking jumpsuits. That's Courtney's favorite, actually, and rompers, and the perfect look for you this spring and summer. Stick around.